Welcome back to Forex Lounge Jumpstart Course. Well, today we're going to spend a little time together trying to identify the best currency pair to trade. Now, we're going to do this through the analysis of multiple currency pairs. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a currency pair known as the Euro Pound. It obviously represents the difference between the Euro and the British Pound. Now, we're taking a look at a daily chart. I like to start with long-term charts because it gives us the overall view of what we're looking at. Take a look at the daily chart. First thing we do, draw our trend lines as follows. Connect the most significant highs and lows to create uh, what we see as a range-bound pattern. Now, these range-bound patterns do exist on long and short-term time frames, but the purpose of this is not to look for the trade, but rather just to identify what is the stronger currency, what is the weaker currency. Now, in the case of the Euro Pound, we have a downtrending long-term resistance line as well as a slightly downtrending support line, and we can see at 87.88, the euro pound is more or less towards the center of the range. But this tells us something. As a downtrending resistance shows us, the sellers continue to gain strength, the buyers continue to give up strength. At the same period of time, the buyers on the support level continue to lose strength and the sellers continue to push us lower. Overall, we can interpret this as a rather bearish or weak chart. Zooming out, we can see that this has formed a really larger consolidation pattern with ultimate lows just below us. But we don't want to anticipate the breakout before it occurs. Zooming in again, we can see the tone, and this is really what we want to identify. The tone of the market is rather bearish, meaning we think the euro is going to decline against the pound if we think the trend is going to continue. It's a safe bet to trade with the trend. The trend is your friend. Now, with that said, we know that the euro is slightly weaker than the pound, so we want to look to sell short the euro or buy the British pound. Now let's take a look at a daily chart of the dollar yen. Now the euro pound is a nice reflection between the two major European currencies. The dollar or the yen are usually placed against either one of these currencies to create the euro dollar, pound dollar, euro yen or pound yen trades. So the next step is to take a look at the dollar yen. Take a look at the dollar yen, draw our downtrending resistance connecting significant highs. We can draw our downtrending support level connecting significant lows. Any way we cut it, whether we draw horizontal support levels, we see this double bottom that was recently broken, or a downtrending support level, we see there's also quite a negative tone in the dollar yen. This tells us that the dollar is relatively weaker in the yen. So, putting this together with our euro pound currency pair, we know the euro is a little bit weaker than the pound, we know the dollar is a little bit weaker than the yen. Now what we want to do is place the strongest against the weakest. Well, between the euro pound, the euro is weaker, the pound is stronger. So, we want to sell short the euro against what we think is stronger here. Obviously, what is stronger here is the yen, because the dollar yen is going down. So, the appropriate trade may be to sell short the euro yen. Or, the appropriate trade, if we want to buy the stronger of the two, of between the euro and the pound, meaning the pound, we would buy the pound against what we think is the weaker of the two, which is the dollar, meaning buy pound dollar. So, the appropriate trades indicated by these two currency charts are either selling euro yen or buying pound dollar. Let's take a look at some of those actual charts to see what they look like at this time. Here is the pound dollar daily chart, 158.26. We just rolled over, but certainly we can see the trend is your friend, and the pound dollar is broken to new highs. In fact, if we zoom out, we can see these are highs that we have not visited in quite a long period of time, actually going back about six or seven months at this point. So the pound dollar is certainly a trend that is to the upside. Now, we also mentioned the euro yen. The euro yen daily chart, well, there's a long-term triangle consolidation pattern, 131.90, just off the downtrending resistance, but still, we have not broken out out of this triangle consolidation pattern. However, overall, we can see, going back to 2009, the January of the month of this year, we can see that the overall trend is to the upside. So the euro yen trend to the upside is certainly very strong, as is the pound dollar. But, taking a step back, remember, we looked at the euro pound chart, we identified that the euro is relatively weaker than the pound, we took a look at the dollar yen, we identified that the dollar is relatively weaker than the yen. Therefore, placing the strong with the weak, we identified the appropriate trades would either be to sell short euro yen or buy pound dollar. But then taking a look at these daily charts of the euro yen and the pound dollar, we can see both charts have a strong trend to the upside, and therefore we want to trade in the same direction as the trend. The number one currency pair to trade at this point is a pound dollar to the upside, given all the charts we've looked at. 
Now that's not all. We have other currencies to analyze as well. We can then take a step forward and look at the Aussie Kiwi. Take a look at the Aussie Kiwi, 126.14. Very simple technical analysis. Draw our support levels from recent swing lows, from very significant swing lows to very significant swing highs. We can see here, while well, it's an uptrending support, it's too early to tell if the support level has been broke, has really established itself as a support level. But we can see if we drew our former support level, we would see that the Aussie Kiwi actually already broke below support. Remember, we need at least two tests of a support or a resistance to know if this trend is legitimate. Now, furthermore, draw a downtrending resistance and we see a triangle consolidation pattern develop. However, yesterday's daily candlestick did close below the support line. So the Aussie Kiwi definitely looks a lot more bearish than it does bullish, meaning a lot more negative than positive. Now, the contrarian in us may ask, well, if the Aussie Kiwi is very weak, why don't I try to pick the bottom? Why don't I try to take, pick the turnaround, meaning I think the Aussie Kiwi is going to go up? Well, the trend is your friend, and the currency trends that develop in the currency pairs around the world, they develop as a result of trillions of dollars trading hands every single day, and it also is a result of a lot of fundamental data, especially as of late. So trust the trend. It is there for a reason. Aussie Kiwi, the trend certainly looks bearish, so I'd rather sell short the Aussie and buy the Kiwi. Now going back to our dollar yen trade, remember our dollar yen daily chart showed us a relatively weak dollar against a relatively stronger yen. Therefore, if we want to sell short the Aussie, we want to sell short against something that's a little bit stronger, namely the yen. If I want to buy the Kiwi, then I want to buy the Kiwi against what I think is going to be a little bit weaker, such as a dollar. So in this case, we would sell short uh, the Aussie yen or buy the Kiwi dollar. Let's take a look at those two. Aussie yen daily chart, where we see uptrending channel. The trend is your friend. Even though our chart analysis told us that the Aussie yen is a good short, the trend is your friend. I don't want to sell short the Aussie Kiwi. However, remember, the Kiwi dollar was also an implicated trade. So we see here a Kiwi dollar daily chart. The trend is your friend, 6150. We're still continuing higher. So the two trades that we have indicated that the charts happen to agree with is to buy the pound dollar or buy the Kiwi dollar. Taking the final step, I would then look at the pound Kiwi chart to determine which is relatively stronger or weaker, meaning the pound or the Kiwi. Now, I like to start this process on daily charts. I like to stay with daily charts because it shows us a nice big grouping of statistical information and a lot of uh, really information to move forward on. If we were to apply this analysis to short-term charts, I think the trade signals may be a little bit less consistent, a little bit less accurate because short-term charts get, tend to trade uh, I should say change very, very quickly. Therefore, stick with the daily charts. If you really want a bigger picture, take a look at the weekly or the monthly charts. But again, I like the dailies the best. Again, the process is very simple. Start with our crosses, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, and the Dollar Yen. Compare all those charts against each other. Try to find out which we think is the stronger or the weaker of the two currencies, and then place that strong with the weak, the weak, with the strong and then finally analyze those individual charts. Those individual charts should indicate whether we're trading with or against the trend. And once more time, the trend is your friend. Always try to trade with it. Long-term trends exist for a reason. With that said, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to email us anytime at all, info at forexlounge.com. We thank you for joining us. We wish you a pleasant day, all profitable trades, and we certainly look forward to seeing you back soon, back inside the Forex Lounge.